Good morning, Card Muties. RJ back with another video. Let's get to it. Today's random Mike Schmidt item of the day. Pick this up off the bay. Got a what is called a Topps Super. How do I know that? Because it's an unopened pack. Topps Superstar photo cards. Three quote unquote autograph cards. It's actually a facsimile autograph, of course. This one is of Mike Schmidt. It is from 1980. You can tell that because that's the copyright on the back. There were 60 cards in the set. There's your checklist. And this has three players, Buddy Bells, on the back of this one. I actually got two of these for like under five bucks. And uh, it was just a cool thing to have uh, an unopened package of these uh, with Mike Schmidt on the cover to go into my Mike Schmidt uh, collection. A vast array of Mike Schmidt items. Having an unopened pack like this is pretty cool. So that is my random Mike Schmidt item of the day. Random baseball item of the day. Got inspired by Ray from Philly. Shout out to Ray. Check out his channel. Went out and picked up my own PSA 10 Bryce Harper. It's actually the update card. This is not what I would call his rookie card. Only because he had a base card in the 2012 set and a complete set variation card in the, uh, you know, the complete set purchase, uh, which came out obviously before this update one. Uh, I snagged this one. I'll have to get the other two. I have uh, the complete set variation because I bought the complete set. I don't mind breaking that, those extra bonus cards up and sending them in and get them graded. So I might do that, uh, put a PSA submission in, and see what my uh, Bryce Harper rookie card comes back at. But that's my random baseball item of the day. PSA Gem Mint 10 2012 Bryce Harper Tops Update card. Trivia question today out there. We're wrapping up the World Series. Uh, as everybody knows by now, my Phillies, sadly, were not able to overcome the juggernaut that was the Houston Astros. Although uh, we can take solace in knowing that we're better than the Yankees because we at least beat the Astros twice, whereas nobody else had the, the, the fortitude to even win a single game during the series. So, um, But no, World Series trivia for you today. So um, I've asked this twice. Or I've asked this, I've asked, I know I've asked this before, but let me do it like this, okay? The first modern World Series, and I use that word specific because there were championship, there have always been championship games and series of games between the winners of various leagues. But what we consider the, the modern World Series, a uh, series of games between the American League and the National League, the first one of those happened in 1903. I'm not going to get into the details, but that was the first year it happened. Uh, since that date in 1903, and today, we're in 2022 now, the World Series has happened every year except for two years. There are two years within that span where there was no World Series. The reason is irrelevant. I just need you to tell me why. Not, not why, but what two, in what two years was there no World Series? The prize, in light of the uh, Astros' recent triumph I have here, a nice Jordan Alvarez rookie card. This is the turkey red insert from Topps 2020. From Topps 2020, this is a nice Jordan Alvarez rookie card. The turkey red ver variation or turkey red insert subset. All right. So email me the correct answer. I will put an e uh, a copy of my email in the description below along with the repeat of the question. You've got today and tomorrow to answer. And then we'll pick a winner on Sunday. Okay. Now, the um, today, all I want to show off really quick on, this is actually a VR, VR for Don's uh, Field of Dreams cards. Don's asking, he asked originally um, for you to show a card that had meaning to you. Not your favorite card necessarily, uh, but something in your collection that was sentimental for you. And then just yesterday, he clarified that by saying it doesn't have to be a card it can be something else well i'm going to show something other than a card to you okay and these two items there's two items i want to show off have very specific 
um, sentimental value to me because they're from my parents when I was young. So let's start with this one. It is a book. It is called The Image of Their Greatness, an Illustrated History of Baseball from 1900 to the Present. Now, this is, in fact, I believe, you can see how ripped this cover is because it's my childhood book. I believe this is the second printing of this book. It was like Series 2 or an updated version or something like that. Uh, hard for me to, to know, but I really believe this was actually the second uh, printing from this one. Anyway, um, why this is sentimental to me. Like, this came out, I believe, in 81. They're about 79. So I was very young. I just started collecting baseball cards at this time. My father got me this book. Now, my dad was a sports fanatic. Any sport, every sport, you name it, he was into it. He watched ABC's Wild World, Wide World of Sports religiously. He watched every single sport there was all Sunday or Saturday afternoon. He was watching bowling or auto racing or baseball or football or any sport there was on TV. He was watching it. He was a big fan of sports and he bought me this book. I never read it. Didn't pay attention to it. Didn't just kind of sat on my shelf. You know, you're a kid. You don't spend a lot of time reading. Then, um, Late, much later in my life, I picked it up. I shouldn't say much later, back around the uh, 80s when I was just late in my years in high school. I picked it up and I read it. That is when I got hooked on baseball because of this book from my father. I really, I delved into this book, the amazing pictures, the amazing stories that are in this book hooked me on baseball forever. And it was thanks to my father getting me this book, even though... It took quite a while for me to actually begin to read it. This was the book. And recently, no, I shouldn't say recently, uh, uh, when I went through my divorce several years ago, I actually sold off a, the vast majority of my collection, including uh, all of the various books that I had. And I had, you know, nearly a thousand books on baseball that I parted ways with. And but that one was one I kept, as, and as well as this one here. This one came from my mother. It is called Baseball in America. Uh, it's by a publishing house, Col Harper Collins. And essentially what they did, I don't know why they got obsessed with baseball. I love this. I love this picture. Some little, uh, some little town in the Appalachian Mountains or somewhere where there's this little minor league stadium. And here's Mrs. Jones or whoever in the back, in her backyard where she has a clothesline hung and she's hanging her, her she's hanging her laundry to dry and there she's got a perfect view of the stadium essentially they went out all their their um photographers their reporters or what have you let me get this out of the way before i kill it and said go find us pictures of the sport of baseball let me tilt this down and uh, it was done in cooperation with the Eastman Kodak Company. Because, again, this was really, they were really, more than anything, trying to harp on the sport of baseball and trying to find amazing pictures of the sport. And they got all these awesome photos in it. Uh, I'm not going to go through every one. There's so many classic photos. But I want to flip to a couple. There's one I really, because I was younger when I got this, and I just thought this was... You know, an incredible photo. I got to be able to try and find it. Here it is. This was one of my favorite pictures ever. <laughs> you got this girl. She's got to be like, I don't know, nine or ten, you know, maybe eight. And she's like looking on adoringly at this kid who's casting that shadow, uh, tossing up the baseball. And I'm going to slowly bring you over here to the caption. You know, Corey Lynette, age nine, makes his pitch for the attention of six-year-old <laughs> Kenda Port Portonier. So it's it's a great little insight into uh, the sport of baseball and how it captures uh, you know people in America. And it had, I mean, it, it went to Latin America, it went to China, it went, it followed an umpiring school. 
I mean, all kinds of awesome things. And this book here, like I said, the funny thing about it, it was from my mom, but um, this was this, I got this when I was in college, okay? And I, when I lived, when I was in college, I lived away from home in the dorms. And one weekend I came home and <laughs> I just walked in the door and my mom at the kitchen table was unboxing this from whatever box she had just purchased it, you know, bought it from you know, online through some clearinghouse or whatever. This was way before, well before Amazon. But she popped this sucker. She was, she was lifting it up as I walked in the door and it was supposed to be like a Christmas present for me. <laughs> and I totally spoiled her Christmas gift. Uh, but at least she, uh, you know, she did give it to me and said, happy Christmas and whatnot. But, oh, that was funny. But I've kept this one too. Those two books, this one right here, Baseball in America, Harper Collins Publishing, and The Image of Their Greatness, 1979 edition. These are my two most sentimental, cherished, sentimental, uh, baseball related items simply because they came from my father and my mother and instilled in me and further cemented in me my love of the game and baseball the game of baseball and everything that it encompasses so that was my uh shout out to don's and don's field of dreams card for his field don's field of dreams cards um hope you enjoyed that um, please check out his video. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Uh, don't forget the trivia question. Uh, I will see you again Wednesday for more great trivia and see you all on Sunday for the trivia recap. All right. Thanks for watching and take care.